take a look at this. This would normally be showtime in the West End in normal times, but it's completely empty. Lockdowns have closed all theatres, big and small. And after a year of this, it's turning into a story of hardship and poverty for people on stage, off it and beyond. With every empty seat, there's tragedy. A closed box office means job losses. How tough has it been for you? I have had seven different jobs throughout the pandemic. A year ago, Fraser Turner was a theatre supervisor. He was first furloughed, then made redundant. It kind of just felt like you dropped through the cracks. Uh, it, it felt straight away that, you know, no one's looking after you anymore. You're very much left on your own. Mentally, it's been exhausting. The West End lights might still flash brightly, but it hides a darker picture in theatre land. New figures show almost 40% of workers have been made redundant in the last year, and one in five received no financial support from the government. Bryony Lemon is a self-employed costume maker. She didn't qualify for government support and lost her income overnight. Kind of being told by the government that your profession isn't valid, it isn't like, yeah, worthy, makes you feel really worthless, but also angry. I'm angry that other people in other sectors who may even have been able to carry on working throughout the pandemic have received the help. I've got a partner who's been able to work through the pandemic. So like we have been able to juggle the bills, rely on like handouts from friends and families. But it's been very stressful. Money's been very tight. Um, other people who haven't had that have just been left out in the cold. The government says it's provided unprecedented help for theatres, but the 183 million it's given so far simply isn't enough for the size of the problem. I think the theatres have been really badly impacted by um, the pandemic. They were the first to close. It looks like they're going to be the last to open. And even when they do open, it's going to be really difficult until such time as uh, we don't have to socially distance anymore. Because social distancing means that theatres are just uneconomic. There's a clock on the wall and it's moving too slow. At the Apollo, the musical Jamie reopened briefly between lockdowns. Nika Burns owns six West End theatres. She's looking to start all of them up again in May. We're opening with reduced capacity at 50% and social distancing. But the big shows can't open with social distancing. You just can't turn on a big show overnight. You know, we have to have three to four months notice of okay. social distancing okay. in the theatres will be lifted from X date and then you count three to four months after that. So I, I'm hoping that we'll be up by the autumn, fingers crossed. Let's hope. At least there's talk of theatres reopening now, but for at least two more months, these seats will still be empty. It's all important to remember that the West End is the heart of London. And coming here tonight, it was heartbreaking to see how empty everything was. The theatres fill up the bars beforehand. It fills up the restaurants afterwards. And without them, London is hurting. These figures uh, have just been given to me. 300,000 people come to the West End every week in London. And it adds £8 billion to the UK economy. Many people might be missing the West End, but London needs the West End.